So let's practice realism. We're gonna start with the nose and make what's called a study, meaning it's just a section, not the entire face. So I'm gonna start with a chunk of clay and flatten it to about a half an inch for my backing. And then I wanna just roughly draw out where my nose is going to go. And then I create a cone or kind of triangle shape for my nose. I am gonna score this on to attach it because I am working with water-based clay and if you do not score and slip, it will pop off if it's fired. If you're not, if you're just practicing, it's less of an important thing, but it is still important to practice. Please notice that your shape of your nose is going to vary, so make a nose that you're familiar with, meaning as a beginner, make your own nose. So the width and the narrowness and the slope of it all change based on your own um, nose or the one that you're sculpting. So I've scored and blended it in and I really love working with this um, it's just an old like card that I've cut and I'm working on the planes of the nose and you can see I am taking away clay so this is why I actually start with a larger piece than I want because I can remove some without making my nose too small. So I am thinking about these planes and I have this illustration here this drawing that you can see and I noticed I want to check the profile view because I needed to add a little bit more clay down at this lower part and I'm just continuing to refine and check it from different points of view to make sure that I have the correct angles in each plane. So once I'm happy with the planes of the nose, I wanna create the nostrils. And I like this curved wooden tool to kind of press them outward and that gives me a nice rounded shape or at least starts to create that. And now I wanna think about the um, curve of my nostrils and I really find my fingers work really well for this and then I can define that further with this curved wooden tool here. And again, this is another place that has a major difference from person to person. How wide your nose, how curved your nostrils are, how subtle that is. Um, all of those details begin to really take something from generic to um, individual. Now remember at this stage we are blocking out, right? We're, rough, we're roughly shaping so things are still looking blocky and that's totally normal. I'm thinking about the apex or tip of the nose here and kind of the nostrils around it. And I'm starting to round out this blocky um, planes, but not too much yet because they still help me see what areas I'm working on. You know, what is the curve of your nose? Do you have like, does the person have more of a, a tip at their nose where it pops out a little more? Is it more shallow? Do I want to press it down? Pay attention to all those things so that you create your individual um, person. Now I'm beginning to round and soften the edges of this nose. Now I'm kind of thinking about defining the underside, the philatrum, and the lower nostrils. And it's kind of at that stage where it's a little bit awkward looking, right? Like you can tell what it is, but it, you know, doesn't quite look exactly like it's where it needs to be because it's not, it's not finished, right? So um, be patient. And I, you know, need to sometimes wash my hands if I'm getting a lot of clay, depending on how wet my clay is that I'm working with. And make sure you think about the nostrils. They aren't just a round shape. They tend to be more teardrop shaped. So make sure that you don't just leave them round. So I'm going to further define those in a little bit. But first I want to think about this point where um, my nose connects to my mouth, right? The lower part there. That needs to be a little more curved and less of a um, slope. And even just kind of pinching inward can create a nice shape here. And then starting to think about um, what else do I need to blend? How do I need to blend it? So at this point, I'm removing kind of the edges of those planes that I created. Now, if you need to soften a hard to reach area, I do find that a dampened brush, just damp, can help, but I wanna be careful I don't oversaturate it. So notice that my brush is not like dripping water, it's just a little bit damp. And I still find that I need to carve away some areas. So it's always like most things that you've learned probably already in ceramics is it's better to do um, kind of small incremental changes at a time rather than one big thing. And so just don't forget all the different points and angles of a nose. 
and then you're going to start to kind of clean it up. Again, not oversaturating, but you might need to use something to smooth those inside areas where you just can't reach otherwise. And that's it. That is my study of a nose.